Today we'll be explaining Soulbound Chess. Set it up. So over here we have a trapped chest next to an update suppressor. And once we open this chest and close it, we become soulbound to it. Process, could you explain what this means? Basically, the closing chest packet gets removed, or it doesn't go through because the update suppressor, which means that the server believes you're still inside the chest, which makes some weird issues for other GUIs. So whenever I try and open a GUI, you can see that this chest updates the suppressor, and this works for any GUI. If I try and trade with the villager, if I try and open any of these, if I open my creative inventory, it does the same. Right. Okay, let's let's talk limitations. So um this only works up to eight blocks in the X and Z direction and nine blocks in the Y axis. This is probably the reach, maximum reach direction on the server. And uh, when you pass this limit, well, um, either the server crashes or the player crashes. Weird side effect one. When salt bound, the client can't see items that he picks up. Amazing. Weird side effect number two. The server crashes if you leave while soul bound, even with update suppression crash fix. Weird side effect number three. Villagers can be locked using Soulbound. Once Soulbound, even other players can't use that villager until that villager is unloaded. <laughs>